All right, guys, I'm gonna do episode two of my arm crush. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail this time. Let's hit it. So the details for this, right? If he's got his hand on my shoulder or I have the underhook, right? So the first thing is I need his elbow line under my shoulder, right? So when I come in, I need this or I need it over the shoulder. So my shoulder is under his elbow line so that I can start doing the arm crush. If his hand is out here and I start trying to crush it, see how his elbow is, is down like that? I can never lift it. So the first thing is I need my shoulder there. So if I get an underhook, I have to make sure that my underhook is deep. Now the second thing is, I don't want to back my head away to the hand. I want my lower body to back away with my head because now there's a space for me to crush the arm into, right? And then the third thing, as I said, the hand that's not underhooking, right? So this is my underhook hand. The hand that's not underhooking is gonna grab the elbow and now I'm gonna back my whole entire body, lower body and upper body away, not just my head, both sliding back and now I'm pinching his thumb into my neck and my shoulder is rolling forward. The higher my hand goes in the air, the tighter his arm gets stuck in that position. And then that combined with the elbow, and now I'm reinforcing my hand with my arm. See how it brings him down? That means I'm doing the technique properly, right? So one more time, I need an underhook, and then I need the far hand to grab the elbow itself, right? Here's the elbow bone. I need to grab the elbow itself, and then I'm backing my entire body, my lower body and all, I'm bringing this arm up, the higher it goes, the tighter this pinch is here. And then once it's down, I'm turning. And if, he, if they bring their posture down, that means you know you got the position right. right. So if Jordan does this to me, when I have my arm here, he's got the underhook, right? And he needs to grab the elbow itself, the actual elbow bone. He needs to back his lower and upper body away, yeah, to the hand like that. And now the next step is tension with the shoulder coming up into the hand and then he collect, yeah, there it is, yeah. And then he can put me down, right? So that's just demonstration purposes. For application, if I'm in butterfly guard and I end up winning the underhook, now we're doing all the same stuff and it'll all be at the same time. So I have my underhook, I have my shoulder under his elbow, I grab the actual elbow itself, my entire body scoots away lower and upper and now to create tension my head pinches my shoulder rolls forward and now my arm reinforces my knuckles here and now i can bring my knee up and then all i gotta do is pull this into my body once i'm belly down now i pull in and there's the finish all right so one more time from there i get the underhook my sh i'm shoulder deep i need to grab the elbow itself for control right what i don't want to do is just back up and let him turn this elbow downwards, not the other way. Yes, that's how everyone ends up getting out of this position. So as long as his elbow can't turn down, right? If I roll this elbow up and I back up to his wrist, he still can't pull his arm out. But if his elbow is facing down and I go like this, his, his arm's free. So that's why I say grab this elbow. So I have the underhook, I grab the elbow so he can't initially roll it. And now to make it stop from being rolling, my arm comes up. Now his arm is stuck. And now I can freely slide back, make this connection. My knee is coming on top of the shoulder as I belly down, and then I squeeze in for the finish. So when I'm on, when I'm on the, in closed guard or butterfly, that's the version I use. I do grab the elbow, the other arm reinforces the hand. When I'm on top and I have the underhook, the far arm grabs the elbow. And for this one, this hand is just gonna reinforce my hand, rather than the arm coming over, it's just through the hand. And with his upper body pinned, when I'm in top side control or top mount, he won't be able to relieve pressure. Right now, he will be able to. So as I push in, see how his chest moves forward? When I've got pressure on him, he won't be able to do that to relieve the submission. So when I'm in top side control and I have some type of pin in the upper body, when I'm ready to go, I have an underhook. So this time, I'm grabbing the elbow, same as the last one. But this time, I'm just double reinforcing and then I'm pinching my head and shoulder, double reinforcing, and when I get belly down, I'm creating a gap for me to pull the elbow into. So I can't submit him 
when his arm is against my chest. So what I do is I post on my head, and now there's an area for me to pull his elbow into. So I have this entire area to pull his arm up to my chest. And as long as I have his elbow, and then I'm pinching this, right? If I don't pinch, he can roll his elbow, right? If I'm, yeah, like that. So when I'm down, my head and shoulder pinch, so his hand is stuck, and then I have two grips on this, and then all I do is lift up for the submission. And there's the tab. Very powerful submission, very hard to get away from. All coming from initially gripping the elbow, and then either reinforcing with the entire arm, or reinforcing with two hands and a belly down.